Welcome back, everybody. I went to Harbor Freight because I decided I wanted a flagpole. So we have this, the 20 foot flagpole. Comes with the flag. Easy to assemble, which it all should be one piece of uh, the aluminum sections. Extends to 20 feet. And let's see, it fits a US flag and a second flag if you have a second flag you want to put up there. And of course, it's got the decorative ball on top. So let's open this thing up and see just what's in here and what the instructions say to get this thing up in the air. Here's our flag. Instructions. This is the part that goes in the ground. That fits on the end of the flagpole. And here, as you can see, there's where you could hang the one flag. And then here's the other, in which when you extend these things out, That has a screw in there to hold the top one. And we hook that onto the flag, hook that onto the second flag. Keep extending it until it hits this one. And to, to hook these things together, or to, once you get them to the right height, you have these things here that you just turn into place and it locks it from sliding up and down. And of course inside there is a decorative ball. Of course in the assembly part of this, it explains, kind of gives you a little bit better idea of where to put this flag, such as you don't want it next to a building where the flag's going to be hitting the building, you want to keep away from trees, everything else, and find a nice spot in your yard to put it. Uh, if you're going to put it kind of close to a building, make sure the lawnmower can get by it uh, once or twice, the width-wise or whatever. So you're not always having to pull the flag pole up to be able to mow over it. And of course, I'm using cement. And so I, I want a nice, I don't know if I'm gonna do a square or a nice rounded area so I can keep that clean with the weed whacker if necessary, besides being able to mow next to it. And of course, on here, on the number four, it tells you you want at least a 12 to 14 inch deep hole and make sure let's see make sure it's at least six inches of space from the outside of the tube that you're going to put in there out so you're going to be let's see 12 at least a 15 inch maybe 16 inch circle or that much of an area then you can square it off if you want a nice square uh, cement pad sitting there it all depends on how you want to do it so let me get started digging this hole and trying to get this thing set so I picked my location and we need six inches on each side of that plastic tube so that's coming to 16 inches <laughs> I 
There's our hole. And they call for at least 14 inches. And right down here is 14 inches. And so the pipe, I'm going to tap down a little bit. But it looks like it's set pretty good right now. I just need to level it. Leveled. One bag of 80 pound mix in the cement mixer. Now to add water. Well, I got it poured. I use two and a half bags of the 80 pound uh, pre mix to get it up to the top. Had to get desperate there, only had two, and had to go to Roy's to get the other one. So, anyway, we'll let that thing set for a couple days or go like the cement bag tells you. But it is a flagpole. Anyway, uh, let's set up and we'll hang the flag. So it's been five days later and normally you have to keep the cement wet so it dries slower or cover it to keep the moisture in because you don't want it to dry too fast because it might end up cracking. And around here it's been raining every day and I mean five days later, here we go, let's put this flagpole up. Stripes and right. 